Okay, well, if you're hungry for more pHs and pOHs, we're going to do a few more here. I think I may not do the last part of this table. I'll just do what's on this page and then call it, since that's a dizzying amount of practice already. But let's get through them in any case. So just to remind you one more time of the formulae we're using, we have a formula that connects the pH and the H3O. Negative log H3O gives you the pH. 10 to the minus pH gives you H3O. So there's that connection. There's one just like it for the base numbers. Negative log OH gives you pOH. 10 to the minus pOH gives you the hydroxide. So we can get between those two easy enough. And finally, we have the fact that the pH and the pOH at room temperature add up to 14. That lets us jump between the P numbers. And generally, that's enough for us to find anything we want. So let's dive in here. If H3O is 2.5, then the pH is negative log 2.5, which seems to be negative 0 0.3979. I'll try to be good about significant digits on this one, just because I don't want to be lax on them all the time. This has four significant digits, so 0 0.3979 would be the appropriate pH. The pH and the pOH have to add up to 14, so this would be 13 point, you do 14 take away one P number equals the other one. 13.6021 one for the pOH, and then the OH is 10 to the minus 13.6021. And for that I get 2.499. Well, on the calculator it says 2.499, but if you round that to four significant digits you just get 2.500. Times 10 to the minus 14. Huh, that's weird. I didn't think th I didn't expect those to match that way, quite honestly. But uh, maybe they did that on purpose to be cute. Just, I'm just going to check that real quick to make sure that I didn't trip up. It's it, I've, it's spooking me a little bit that those numbers are identical. So I'm just going to make sure there's no mistake. Okay, I paused for a moment while checking. There is a mistake. This pH is negative, and so. The pOH is not that other thing I said. It is actually 14.3979. And that means the hydroxide concentration is 10 to the minus 14.3979, which comes out to 4 times 10 to the minus 15, or 4.000. times 10 to the minus 15. Now, let's see. This actually has five significant digits, which means I have to polish that up too. Yikes. So the pH is actually negative 0.39794 would be the correct number there. And then you do 14 minus that, and you get 14.39794. And then 10 to the minus that number, 10yx, 14.39794, negative. And that gives four point and many, many zeros. There's five significant digits, times 10 to the minus 15. OK, rocky start. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can improve over time. If the pH is 8.56, then the pH is going to be 14 minus that, which will be 5.44. Zero, zero. They've suddenly gone off the deep end with significant digits here. This has four significant digits. So does this. Uh, so the H3O is 10 to the minus 5.4400, zero, zero, which is 3.631. times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and for the hydroxide 10 to the minus 8.56. Now, apologies here, my calculator is giving me 0 point and then a bunch of zeros and then a 3, so the best I'm going to be able to do for this is 3 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This does not have the number of significant digits that it deserves owing to the limitations of my calculator. If you had to get those significant digits, you'd have to get a better calculator or do it in Microsoft Excel or something that can display more precision than mine can. So apologies for that. 4.896, the POH should be 14 minus this, so 9.104. Only three sig digs, that's a little more reasonable. My hydroxide is going to be 10 to the minus 4.896. For which I get 1.27 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. The hydroxide is 10 to the minus 9.104. The base is always 10 to the minus the base number. For that I get 7.87 times 10 to the minus 10. Uh, here they start with POH. We can negative log this to get a POH. So 7.89 times 10 to the minus 9. Log it, negative, and I get 8 point... This is four significant digits, so I have to do 8.1029 for my POH. 14 minus that gives us the pH. So 14 minus 8 is 6, minus that other thing is 5. 0.8971 is the pH. And to finish this, 10 to the minus 5.8971 should be our H3O. 10 to the power of 5.8971 negative. And from that I get 1.27. Okay, on my calculator, 1.267 is all I've got times 10 to the minus one, two, three, six. Okay, H3O is this. Negative log this will get us the pH. So 2.56 times 10 to the minus 2 is where we start. Log, negative. I get that the pH is 1.592. They gave us three significant digits here, so I have to go three for this. 14 minus 1.592 is 12.408. And then the hydroxide is 10 to the minus 12.408. And for that I get 3.908 or sorry, three significant digits here, so 3.91 times 10 to the minus 13. Okay, two moles per liter, two significant digits. So the concentration is two, you log that and hit negative and you get minus 0 0.30. That is our pH. The two P numbers have to add up to 14, so this must be 14.30. And the hydroxide is 10 to the minus 14.3. 5.0 times 10 to the minus 15. If hydroxide is 3, negative log 3 will get us the pOH. Uh, two significant digits, so minus 0 0.48. is our POH. These two have to add up to 14, so 1448 over here. And the hydroxide is 10 to the minus 1448. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 15. Uh, 
POH is 16. These two numbers have to add up to 14, so this must be minus 2. The hydroxide is 10 to the minus pH, so it's 10 to the minus minus 2, which is 10 to the 2, which is 100 moles per liter. Crazy. The, the hydroxide is 10 to the minus pOH, so 10 to the minus 16. With uh, What do we have? Two significant digits, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 16. Vanishingly low. Then they go even lower. If the pH is negative 4, then the pOH must be 18. The hydroxide concentration is 10 to the minus pH, so it's 10 to the minus negative 4, which is 10 to the 4, which is, is this even possible? 10,000 moles per liter? Question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. I don't know if there's any chemical where you could fit 10,000 moles of it into a liter. But, uh, okay. And over on this side, our hydroxide concentration would be 10 to the minus 18. Uh, so, two significant digits would make it 1.0 times 10 to the minus 18. Oh, over here, because we only have two significant digits to work with, that isn't enough to write 10,000. So, the proper way to do this, we'd have to go to scientific notation and say 1.0 times 10 to the fourth moles per liter. That's how you write a big number when you don't have enough sig digs to do it in conventional notation. You just go to scientific. Okay, 1 times 10 to the minus 15. If you negative log it, it tells you that the pH is 15. pH and pOH have to add up to 14, so this must be negative 1. The pOH is 10 to the minus pOH, so 10 to the minus negative 1 is 10 to the 1, or 10. Oh, and fixing significant digits, this has 2, so this must be 15.00, and this must be minus 1.00, and 10 is no problem. That's got two sig digs already. Uh, 2.53 times 10 to the minus 2 goes into the calculator. Log negative. The pOH is, to three significant digits, 1.597. Fourteen minus that gives us our pH, which is twelve point four zero three, and the hydroxide concentration, sorry, hydronium concentration, is ten to the minus twelve point four zero three, which uh, to three significant digits, I get three point ninety five. Times ten to the minus thirteen. Okay, pH of 483, 14 minus that tells us that we have 9.17 for the pOH. The acid concentration is 10 to the minus the acid number, 10 to the 4.83 negative. Uh, two sig digs, so I get 1.5. times 10 to the minus 5. And for the base, I get 10 to the minus 9.17. To two sig digs, that's 6.8 times 10 to the minus 10. OK, PA, POH is 188. 14 minus that gives us 12.12 .12 for the pH. 10 to the minus 12.12. Key that wrong. 10 yx 12.12 negative. This is two significant digits, so 7.6 times 10 to the minus 13. And on the base side, 10 to the minus 1.88. I get 1.3 times 10 to the minus 2.
And last one, if this is a buck seventy-five, negative log of that gives me minus zero point two four three. for the pH. The pH and the pOH have to add up to 14, so this must be 14.243. And the hydroxide is 10 to the power of 14.243 negative, which is, to three significant digits, 5.71. times 10 to the minus 15. And again, the pH is the best way to find acidic or basic. It's easy. Under 7 means acidic. So minus 0.3, acidic. 5 is less than 7, acidic. 4.8, less than 7. That's acidic. Acidic. Negative are definitely acidic. 14.48 is way over 7. That's a base. Negative 2 is an acid. Minus 4 is a curiously strong acid. 15 is way higher than 7. That's a base. 12 is a base. 4.83 is an acid, 12.12 .12 is higher than 7, that's a base, and negative numbers are definitely acid.